Welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, the overmodded edition. We are here right after we released the Berserker Queen onto the greater world around us to try and bother the Advent as much as she bothers us because, eh, you know, I'm, why should we get to have all the fun with giant alien monsters? They can deal with some of the consequences too. Aliens are on their own team, but they have more tricks up their sleeves, and if you can't put them down, they're going to break away and recover a ton of health as well. And I think, now that we've figured out how to break that place, the other two places, ah, crap. We have to make contact with Asia? We don't even have the intel for making contact with Asia. Let's drop some supplies here. Get this radio re- well, hold on. <laughs> Let's see what these options right here are first. We can get an engineer by destroying their advent prototype. Battle Master Party's there, that's kind of nice. Sabotage transmitter, get 208 supplies, stop the Thunder Mountain, or we can get a Geth Xeno Hunter and reduce the alien counter by four weeks. Or keep it from reducing by four weeks. Man, 208 supplies are sounding really good right now. I don't think we need another engineer at the moment. GOC is here. It might be important just to go into Europe and do some missions here for a little while, just so the heat dies back down on Africa, because that boosted heat, there's a lot going on over here, so, you know, maybe not. We can just pop out. We can stop Thunder Mountain from happening, and we don't need a Xeno Hunter. And the alien facility counter, that sucks, but that's just going to be a cost we have to eat, because we need these supplies. Pretty bad. So let's go ahead and run over. Eastern oh, we gotta do a sabotage a transmitter, right? That shouldn't be no thing at all. And in the spirit of that should be no thing at all, let's go ahead and put together a squad of units that aren't necessarily bad, but need the XP. Like our nano suit, our ghost. People who haven't seen the field in a little while. Our ninja and bring a sectoid. Our man Syndrome, savior in that last uh, Resistance Haven Massacre mission. Kept us all from being ripped apart by Berserker by taming it with a single mind control ability. Let's set up their weapons real quick. We still don't have any super fun vector rifle upgrades. That's on the way. We're almost there. We're almost there. And I am so excited to be to that point. What's we gonna do? That reveals you got a stealth. And you have psychic stuff you do every turn anyway. Booster jet. Maybe we got enough of the leg shot or the jet shot. I don't know. Let's put the booster jet on. Very stealthy, as you can see. It's plating. Let's give you the ultra light vest. Make you fast as all hell. Be a flanking machine. Speaking of, we don't really care about cover. Let's go ahead and throw a smoke. You know what? You shouldn't need a smoke grenade. Let's give you a supportive grenade you can use from stealth, like a C4. You can plant that on something and just start tearing people up. Can we upgrade this vector rifle yet? Actually, we can. But I don't think the increased clip size will work since she is a uh, she has that ghost thing. So let's go. Let's throw that on something else. Da, 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 da. You got a massive mobility. We don't have anyone particularly tanky on this team, do we? Yeah, okay, never mind. I'm horribly wrong. The Ranger. You know, that's a fair name. That's fine. We'll give the Ranger a shotgun so we can find where we put him. Because he's going to be a flanking machine. Set him up with probably a combat knife. A Spec Ops one? Or a knife fighter one. I'm gonna go with Knife Fighter just for the extra ability of just running in really quickly on somebody. Skulljack, we're gonna put Skulljack stuff on him because I believe he has special hack stuff coming up down his skill tree if he doesn't already have it. Let's take a gander at this real quick. Doesn't have it yet, but he'll get it next level, but shouldn't be too far away. His suit, does your suit give you hacking stuff? I don't remember. Yep, 30 hacking from the suit, so. If anyone's going to have this to steal intel from people, it'll be him. And we are low on intel, as we said, so. Let's put some high quality rounds on you so you can mess people up real, real bad. And throw a hell weave on you, like we did before. Worked out last time. 
And you are also going to get a Hell Weave because you are... Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and put a Fire Eater suit on you because you already have pretty massive mobility. It is not a big deal. And let's see, your health's not super high. Let's throw a medkit on you. Make sure you stay nice and healthy. When we get a Sectoid to the higher levels. He will be a pretty good psionic unit. Have access to Null Lance and Void Rift and Domination and all that kind of fun stuff. I really can't wait for him to get Inspire and Stasis. Those are going to be big things. Twin Fangs. Poisonous bullets, people. Weird stuff, but he'll be a solid psychic unit. He won't be anything outstanding like our lady over here, but compare anything to her. She is a monstrous, monstrous woman. Let's go back to our ninja weaponry. Get a katana, get a ninjato. I still don't know if I'm saying that right. No one's bothered to correct me. I'm going to keep on keeping on. Uh, you're fast as all hell. You can afford to put a little bit of extra armor on you. Keep you in tip top. And how about a medkit for you as well? Since you can teleport, you can do a teleport heal on somebody. That could be amazing. Save someone's life. Bombs. I don't know about bombs on you. Let's move over to our lady here. Let's give her a rifle with a superior stock, because she is not known for her accuracy. She is known for doing work with medkits, though. Does everyone have a medkit already? Uh, we're going to take that off of you. Take it off of you. We'll give you high quality rounds. Give you something to do. You're not a bad shot in the first place. Right, let's go ahead and throw the Fulton harness and a med kit onto our missus right here. Just the ultimate support trooper. Let's go ahead and put on a hell weave so that she is a little bit more durable. And our lady right here can charge if she really needs to get somewhere. And she is just going to fan grenades at people as fast as possible. We got gas, we got fire, and we have frost. Ammo type. Micro rounds? We'll do bitter frost. We'll do bitter frost and try that out. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to do, and it's not really something I'm concerned with, but I think it'll be cool. Let's find out if it is. Everyone's so serious. Then we have syndrome. Absolutely frozen in fear. Bless him. Sky Ranger deployed. So the idea is this is a something-something transmitter mission, is that we're going to try and get Ranger over to it as quickly as possible. Because with his boosted hacking stats and the laptop and all the other fixings that we can get together, we should be able to map some intel or at least a major research bonus, something to that effect. And we can just have ghosts moving up behind him, supporting him. Just lashing out at people. Out of stealth. Her and our Amanda Ninja. But I do not know what to do with still. I really enjoy him looking at like a regular soldier. Yep. We've been picking there we up go. Unusual readings coming from this area. Oh, this is and not what I thought it was going to be. Is now I was thinking computers and stuff. Oh, well. We just need to break stuff. Their operations yeah. across this entire region could possibly we can just Advent send in our lady the ghost in this area tied directly into their primary network our intel drop some c4 on it. it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug okay man uh -huh. that's enough Let's give us some time to breathe on the move so we have to move over there get there in six Objective turns to blow it up confirmed. Our readings indicate that Relay is feeding energy directly into their network. If hmm. you can destroy it, it may disrupt their efforts to isolate the transmitter. Yeah, maybe. Orders confirmed. Moving out. We got Hunter over here. Got an Advent turret. That's a long, long level. Just an alleyway. That's not too bad for us, though. Let's just abuse our mobility and see how far we can get our man in one turn. Never let's go with swords. Respect for the ninja way. Just pop you over here. Man, he could be like right next to that thing and it wouldn't matter. Hmm. 
Here's a fun question. If I throw a kunai at one of these uh, things right here, remains concealed with great squad concealment. That's right, I forgot about that little caveat. Let's do a charge. Oh, hold on. I don't even know if she can get into a good position. So we'll, we'll save the charge. Go, go, go. Saving the charge works. Flat tire. Not the most inspiring name. Whatever, though. And we'll move up further so we can surveil our ninja way. Our gun warriors again. Still just purifiers everywhere. What is up with the love of purifiers our enemy seems to have? What is this? Oh yeah, emergency energy. I feel like getting our man up a little bit further. Let's power sprint. Yeah, get him way the hell up here. He can go ahead and start regenerating energy while we're in this lull between combat phases. Six turns to get there. A bunch of advanced this, advanced that. Uh oh. Who did they find? Who's here? What a weird other faction. Uh, okay, be still. Fanatics and necromancers. What did it say? It's like Cult of Jiraiya or something like that? Shit, we gotta plant X4 too. Sectoid abductor. Oh, no. oh, hi! Oh, that's that's not what I wanted to see already. Oh my God! Okay. What you see, boy? Got eyes on the monster. Oh, that is the enemy berserkers. Class warfare. But this muton works for the queen herself. I was expecting a weird random third party, but not in her advent fighting. That's something special. Damn! <laughs> Absolutely destroyed. Queen burning is burning and a trooper burning. And she regenerated all of her friggin' armor, it looks like. Ugh. Okay, I thought this was going to be a short and sweet one. This might be a bit of a problem, but we did bring the frost bombs. Why are you shooting civilians? Actually, are you shooting them to raise... Okay, no, you're just an asshole. <laughs> I got a little worked up over nothing, it seems. Oh, hey. Welp. We have a burning queen right here. Have a bunch of turrets to go through. We have people that could stay in stealth post reveal. And we have a squad that, in general, might be a little bit too far back to do anything. Not a great spot to be in, I'm gonna be 100% honest. Oh, right, well, let's move the hunter up. Who can we put a bullet through? Well, in theory, we immediately kill this thing right here. Maybe even have a chance to stay invis? I don't remember how her invisibility works exactly. But I do know that we don't have time to just screw around and do nothing, so... Yeah. You want some more? Toe up. He, of course, is still revealed, as is his ninja way. I'm having a lot of fun with that. Silent takedown. Um, our slash on... Do you have melee resistance by any chance? No, but he regenerates like the faceless do it. And we don't do a lot of damage with our swords. Well, we, we do, but we don't do a lot, a lot of damage. And he has armor, so... We're not going to worry about it right now. We might throw chase this problem and make it go away. He could almost get on top of him. 
Powered Strike, 7 to 9 damage, chance to crit. Does it go through armor? God, that is stressing me out. Okay, never mind. <laughs> this calculating too much stuff got me uh, kind of worried. I think we need to go ahead and power sprint him. Take advantage of how beefy he is with his just total armor points. He ain't our toughest soldier. He is a damn close one. We do not care about the purifier. I think we're going to run in on this turret. Because a turret's body, I think, counts as high cover after we blow it up. What? What'd you see? Oh, okay. He just spotted. No biggie. Yeah, turret's body counts as the... What have you. Let's throw a kunai. Yeah. We have the ninja. I think we can go ahead and just start blowing up these things. Or should we go ahead and throw a kunai? Damn, that's some range disadvantage. I'd love to have a sniper for this, but... Beggars and choosers and whatever. Let's move our sectoid closer. And of course, let's move uh, Diamond as close as we can. Or again, we're still saving her charge. Running. Just in case things get real bad real quick. Flat Tire. i still struggling with that name. Who wants to be known as Flat Tire? I don't know. Looks like our last man here is going to be our ninja. Should he go ahead and do some sort of nasty psychic magic? Soul fire this man, guaranteed damage, blah blah blah. I kinda... I can... Hmm. Let's just give ourselves some breathing room by destroying these. How about that? Well done. As we that hoped, revealed him. That's not what I thought would happen. Good enough. Good enough. We can slip him in the shadow walk if necessary. That's... Why would you do that to yourself? Who walks in the middle of the entire enemy line to melee somebody and not be able to get out? Man, this cult is uh, not impressing me a whole lot. Is he reanimated? God, I didn't think she'd regenerate her armor. Whose purifier is whose? It's like just everything is going to bed. Where are these zombies coming from? Headshot. Oh well. I guess they were there. Although it looks like they just reanimate themselves when they die. So the cult individually are weak if they come back from the dead. They can't even get through her armor. Jesus. Alright lady, what you doing? A quake! Haven't seen that in a while. Now that man's dead, isn't he? No. Color me surprised. That is the toughest man I've ever seen. <laughs> Holy crap. That's bad. And we have just a little fanatic over here. Kapow. One damage. You're just walking zombie fodder. Not you though, you had a mean ass shotgun. Respect. I'm under fire. Who is Jiraiya though? Is that a thing I don't know about? Side so zombie just burning. And I'm missing. 
All right, let's see. You're going to have to be picked up by somebody. I cannot believe that you would do this to yourself. Here, let's go ahead and just drop our Psychic Hellblast on you. See the new power on it. Five damage. Panicked. Are you also on fire? I don't remember. Ah, oh, well. Most important thing is you're dead. Not even close. Get out of my face and stay out of my face. Can you revive anybody? Can you wake uh, your lady friend over here up? No, unfortunately, it does not appear to be the case. Ah, oh, crap. Alright. Whatever. We'll just have someone guard her. Gotta get chased a little bit closer. Do your kuna... Did that count as killing something? It didn't. Oh, man. How long does your shadow walk last? Three turn cooldown. Last for the player's turn. Huh. That's not that good. Do I have a way to dip you back into stealth at any way? Not my misunderstanding of that ability may have led to a... May have led to a big problem, but he's got Blade Storm, Blade Master, and Blade Finesse. He could run in, cut somebody's face off, and then get out of there. That's not too bad. Or just, you know, use his outrageous movement speed. Oh yeah, he gets to just vulture. What is that? Run! Oh my goodness! If I run over there and slice him, the chances of him exploding in my face are... Uh, let's be real, they're almost 100% whenever it's happening to us. With that in mind... I gotta do something about these berserkers. Tell you what, let's just marauder, give ourselves plenty of time while they all murder the hell out of each other. Yeah, that, that seems to be a great way to spend our turns. Kapow, kapow. We'll keep moving you up one little bit at a time. And by one little bit, I mean as close as we can get to get you in range for those elemental grenades you got going on. Hmm. Do you explode on me though? That is the really, really important question. I think we take the chances. Five damage. Oh well. Eh, whatevs. Oh! What the looks the return fire triggered blade masters. So they just had like a little one-on-one -on -one duel thing there. That was pretty badass. We could take another slice. Don't know how good of an idea that would be. Kind of want to just do it, but we're not gonna. We're not gonna be so foolish. We're just gonna run over here, plant ourselves. Actually, purify my turn on us from there. So. We're gonna run all the way back here. Leave our man to dip in and out of the fight and stay up planting himself. Not really a ninja thing to do, to just stay there and invite yourself to be shot, so. We're gonna wait. This is extra turns of network separation. They can't seem to put any actual damage on the thing. But they. Lighting it on fire. That's working. Who did you kill there? Pleasant Cloud connecting with a zombie or something, I guess. Damn it, they're gone. That struggle with their priorities. Turn on his mama. I do not think she is very amused with that. 
Maybe elemental damage will be enough to just get her out of here. Except to do the regular damage, don't I? Ugh. Whatever, let's see what happens. I think the last time before she ran out, we had her at like half health between us and the commandos. Help! Now, yeah, you're fine. I miss. No one seems to be able to hit melee over there. Really kind of taken away from the whole Berserker giant monster fight. Why are you panicked? No one can do anything over there. That entire turn had almost no impact. Oh well. What do we have to do with you? The only thing we can feasibly do with our man here is to save up a little energy to activate armor mode. Last one turn cost 10 energy out of our possible 12. We get armor mode and then. What is it? Oh, it costs 3. Oh no, we could armor mode, do an emergency module, and then get in there for the powered strike and shred two of her armor off. It's not an amazing thing, but at least it's some shred because we're gonna need something. Who's the closest target? You over there, the Berserker. Can I? No, no, we're just gonna we're gonna keep doing this. So we said we're gonna do. It's a solid plan. We still have a squad that's pretty spread out. We're just gonna keep taking apart whatever weird defenses they have. Yeah. Hunter here. Session needs to reload a rifle. Maybe the rifle has some sort of weird glitch going on right now. That seems to be a thing with some of our soldiers. Got one in the chamber ability. We'll see next turn if that actually uh, is the case. Looks like it did trigger right then, so that's good. Can we move you up a little bit? We can move you into this high cover. And we'll just take a little... Oh, hold on. And there no reason to do that. Let's just take a shot at this. Clean that all up. And... We could use our... Blink to run around and be a nuisance to the enemy. But... I don't even know how much of a... a tactical of an option that actually is. We can't just do nothing, right? He can influence the battlefield, so let's see if he can... Hell, I don't know. From here, he can drop a soul fire on somebody. Uh, are there other ladders? It looks like they'll be mostly safe. There's a pipe over there, but... Let's run him up. Let's run him up. We might be able to actually see the queen. That was a weird animation, but we're getting used to just general weirdness. We can try and huck a grenade down there where she approximately is. How we're angling that? It seems cursed. Alright, come, come on. Up, oh, up. Oh. Let's just do it for the attempt to get the armor off the queen. Shredded armor, thank god. Maybe someone could do something to her. Although, I kind of doubt it. People panicked all over the map. I don't even know what's causing half of it. So much fire, so many fire particles. Blast panic on top of just having so much armor. Purifiers can't do anything to them. Why are there so many purifiers? I almost missed the robots. I just 
interesting. And it's, it's in a weird position mentally to be rooting for the aliens and be like, oh, you can do it. You can hit this shot. I thought Berserker hit shredded armor. That is immensely disappointing. I wonder what she's going to try and do now. We have more time than we even got to the mission, so we can adapt. These giant monsters beating the ever-loving piss out of each other. I was hoping that Purifier was going to blow up. Oh well. Uh, hey, pretty lady. I would not give to have so many rockets right now just to just carpet bomb this area. Sounds like a dream. Congratulations on your kill. I just I feel myself coming apart. This is supposed to be a simple like drop in and do nothing mission. Well, we know the queen is in here somewhere. Let's go ahead and reload our rifle. Oh. That's 70 worth it? I mean, probably. Yeah, that's for good. <laughs> Do I have to just throw a firebomb down there? I could run all the way over here and throw another inferno grenade on the queen. Just be a general nuisance to her. Well, I saw her at least. Lord in heaven. She is a problematic lady to be dealing with at the moment. But we know fire hurts her, so. We thought fire hurted her. Herded? I'm falling apart. Uh. Will this blow the wall out so we can see her? Uh, maybe, maybe not, but we're not going to be able to do anything else with these fuses anyway. Let's see if it does. If it doesn't, then yeah, it's fine, but if it does, it'll be great. No, nope, we do have more fire between us and her now, so that's something at least. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Chief. Let's just overwatch you from when that pod decides it wants to rear its ugly head. Can we throw poison in there on top of her as well? Like, just. How miserable can we make this woman? That's what this is turning into. Screw it. Oh, we didn't give you your wrist mounted one. What the hell? She's immune to gas. Oh well. I guess we destroyed the uh, sensor deal, at least. Why do they keep throwing flamethrowers at our guys? I just... Whose idea is this? They should be fired. I'm upset for them. Here's the carpet bombing technique is a big success. So much concentrated fire in that one little pocket. Just 
gonna suck all the oxygen out of the air and be attacking them that way. That grub's about to get obliterated. Oh no, they're, they're fighting each other again. That's good. I think all the purifiers are just gonna stand there. Do I have AoE? Please tell me I have good anti purifier AoE and not just everyone with fire cannons. Ugh. We got a few people panicked. I think we're just far enough away. Yeah. Ninja way. I can't think of anybody who has enough. Okay, so hold on. Before we go any further, let's heal up our lady here. She did get smacked upon with a big old stick, so. I feel like that is a necessary and fair thing to do. Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't think we actually do have anyone that can AoE all that down. Because it's all Hellfire projections. And we have to save the Frost Bomb from the Queen. Why 35? Oh, because he's suppressed, right. You have a rifle? You have a rifle instead of a shotgun. Oh no! We're just gonna teamwork our lady back here so she can start moving up to her squad. And. You're gonna have to do all kinds of horse piss. Insanity on. I guess this purifier. about the mind control and just trying to put some sort of damage on them. Yeah. We'll soul fire. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get rid of the sectoid. And he's panicked, but there's a chance that that tends just to wear off immediately. And if that happens, we'll be both furious and in a really bad spot. So. the advanced trooper. I guess we're just going to try and get here on these purifiers. Again, the computer not having a good time with all these fire particle effects. I will be so happy to see the purifiers go. I'm going to spin in place. Activate my ninja way. I think we just keep going at it. Six to nine. Nice. Yeah, let's, let's just keep going swords mode on him. Fuck. One just missed completely. But again. Uh, you respond, I respond. What happened to his accuracy? Honker, cancel? Weapon accuracy, defense, suppressed, reaction suppressed. I don't know what that's about, but we're gonna keep trying to go with this man. Man, that feels bad. I want this purifier down. He is missing everything on him now. Uh I'm going. You think you're upset?
Let's reanimate a corpse right next to them. Maybe we can do some sort of psychological warfare on them at this point. Reaction suppressed either way. I think we just we toss the grenade down here on the queen. She really needs to get more of that armor shredded off. Yeah. Four is a lot more reasonable than six. Oh, oh, this, this, this falling apart so quickly. Like, alarmingly fast. At least you're guaranteed to do some damage. With the superior stock. Missing all these 70s. Feeling absolute agony. It. Actually, put the acid burn on the berserkers. Thank goodness. I hope at the end of this turn, Queen has taken at least a couple of hits from the other team because over the last two or three turns, I think she's lost four health, maybe five. Feeling good about putting the fire plating on her. Part of the reason we, we were not super worried is because uh, diamond is unbreakable. That girl is so strong. Like every mission she's been on has been like an all-star success. Or at least she has herself been an all-star success. She frequently just pulls off nonsense. Lucky and you are getting a little bit torn up. Wanna consider leaving? Eh, probably not. She's back and burning again. She can't seem to quite put anybody down. Her attack power, not enough to drop a purifier in one hit. Man, that's strange. I'd be surprised if he didn't take a shot at the purifier right here. There's some flank target. Just straight up shot a random non combatant. Do your thing, I guess, man. Yeah, he's burning and full of acid, so his accuracy is in the gutter. Brent is killed. We still have a new fanatic. I can't understand how she is still alive. This whole mission is just a very, very strange experience. And uh, fireproof or not, we gotta get away from this car before it goes uh, kaboom on us, so. Something that we're probably about to do. But I think we're going to call it for here for this one gets too, too long. There's apparently going to be even more ahead of us here. And I need to fix up the computer so that these lag from the fire starts to go away. Thanks for dropping by the channel. Thanks for checking us out. And if you liked it, leave a like. If you had something you thought was really cool or you had something you thought I did that was ridiculous and made no sense, let me know about it. Maybe I can actually learn from it. And if you really like what we're doing here, please consider subscribing to the channel so I can keep doing what I'm doing keep bringing more XCOM nonsense to all of you. Take care. I'll see y'all next time.